All right, so I've got this Oasis uh, VI25, and I have set it where everything on here is in this particular key. I mean, you'll still hit some wrong notes, but but it's everything. Everything's going to be in key, but sometimes you have like different stuff in the key that sounds a little bad. But anyway, you've got these uh, 16 pads here, and for example, my pad 13 plays this note, uh, so if I hit 16, 9, and 8 on mine, it makes this cool chord if I have these triads like 10, 12, and 7. Uh, that's a bad one, but you get the idea. You get the idea. So uh, how do you do that? Well, first we're going to start off by, uh, I may make some videos that cover these other functions, but this one's just the drum pads, so if you got like a, an Ableton Push or a Native Instruments machine, it'll do something similar. But, uh, you know, I want the, uh, the G scale, uh, G major scale on this drum pad just as it goes. So, you know, 13 being the root note and then going up the scale. That's what I'm going to set up right now. So I've got Logic Pro open, just a regular track or whatever. And then here you have uh, your MIDI note map. And, you know, this, uh, if you look at your Oasis when you hit a note, so I'm going to go to my blank preset, uh, it's just the stock preset that it comes with. If you hit the bottom note, this uh, 13 here, pad 13, it shows you that on this little screen up here, a 36. So uh, on this here, I can go and see that, uh, that C has the value of 36. So I'm going to go, and just for clarity, look up the G major scale, and because uh, that's the scale I want, you know? That's the scale I want. So we got the scale right here, and I'm just going to repeat it upwards. So we're going to start off with G. And this is in the octave, like, where it's, like, 36. So let's look at, uh, so C would be the note 36 here. I actually want to go lower, so I'm going to start with the value of 31. That's my octave 2 G. So on this pad 13, I'm going to go over here. They kind of have it a little bit backwards. I wish it was, like, one up, but whatever. I'm going to change that to 31. Uh, and hit it. I guess you can hit it. It doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, and then I'm gonna kind of. I don't have that magnet installed. Okay. So I got 31, and then the next note would be so G A B C D E F sharp G. So the next note would be A. So A after 31 would be 33. Okay. I'm gonna put 33 in. Okay. Uh, 33 and then B, the next B up from A would be 35, so on, 35, and then after B, so you have whole, whole, uh, root, whole, whole, half step up, so I just know that that's going to be 34, because these are in half step increments, uh, and I don't really need to look at that, I just know root, whole, well, root, whole, I guess that'd be 30. Yeah, that's a full whole step. Sorry, uh, so that'd be 35. So root whole whole half. Uh, oh no, root whole whole, and then half would be 36. So if I'm right, 36 is going to be like uh, let's see the next one. B C is 36. Let me make sure I've got everything right here. So 31, 33, 35 is B. Yep. And then C is 36, so that's our 36. So that'll be uh, 38 next. That's just your major scale, you know. If you should, if you don't know the major scale, then you really shouldn't be messing with these pads. You should be messing with these keys. Um, but I'm not a piano player. I learned this stuff on guitar. Uh, let's do 40. Let's just see what 40 is over here, just to make sure we got it right. Uh, e, okay, is that right? E, yeah, and then the next one would be F sharp. So that's going to be 42. So for some reason, it's right there. That's cool. And then 43 is our G. That's already correct. So 42, wait, yeah, 43 is G. Okay, 43, so this would be 45. So G is our root. Whole step, whole step, uh, half step. It's 48. Let's just check and make sure, you know. So that's G. Uh, G was on 43A. Uh, 
B and C. Let's see what this C is over here. Should be in the next octave. 48, yep. C, uh, D, 50, I think that's correct. So this D should be 50, yep. Uh, 52 would be the next note. It's a little time consuming, but you know, if you go through and look at it, uh, everything is set right. So 50, and then pad one would be 52. Uh, 52. I, I'm, it's kind of hard for me to forget to remember where I'm at. So E, F sharp is uh, 54. 54. It's kind of hard for me to keep all staying. 54. And then G is 55. Okay. And then we'll be like one above that. So it'll end up on like 57. So let's just check and make sure. Uh, so everything, it should be like two numbers up, two num root number, two numbers up, two numbers up, one. Uh, two, two, one. Two, two, one. It's just the scale progression, I guess, which is for the major scale, root, whole, whole, half, and then that repeats, so. <laughs> root whole whole half whole 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 half whole 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 half. That's how the major scale works. Like so that's C major and I forgot how to play G major on the piano, but uh okay, so that should be good. So when we go to send this, you want to go to uh device setup and uh I'm getting an error, so that means that I'll need to close Logic Pro. Uh I'm not gonna save this. You're going to want to save this to your desktop, so I'm actually going to say save preset to hard drive. Uh, I've got this external hard drive here that I save this kind of stuff to, and I'm going to call this G major scale, okay, and save that there, just to make sure. Uh, okay, let's do device setup and see if... See if it pops up. Yeah, see, I'm getting this error. So I'm going to have to close the program and reopen it. Uh, I may have to quit Logic. Let's see what happens. OK, and I'll quit this. And let's go ahead and relaunch it. I've got it saved on my hard drive now, so it's all good. Uh, here's the uh, this thing here. Let's see if we got our device popping up. Cool. So on this you want to select editor out and editor in. I don't know why, but it took me a while to figure that out. So, okay, that's all set up. Now we're going to do load preset from hard drive. Here's the one we just did, and uh, you can ignore that folder right there. Uh, I pay for everything. Send preset to hardware. Okay, this is where it gets cool. So I'm a guitar player, and I know that G major is on the third fret. That doesn't maybe that doesn't matter to you, but I'm gonna go ahead and select preset three, and on my I'm gonna send it, and it kind of takes a minute. Okay, cool. So on my device now, uh, I'm gonna go to preset three. Let's see if it works. Yeah, uh, I'm looking at the numbers, but I forgot I gotta open up Logic. So the numbers are all correct to what I set them to. It starts at 31 and ends at 57. So uh, I'm gonna. So I've got uh, I've got it all set up now, and I just wanted to play a little bit, show you uh, kind of how it works. Uh, so I got this cool little standard, you know, uh, electronic thing open, and I've got this chord progression on this classic house organ. That... So yeah, like. Just kind of gonna play around with that. Let's see how this is. That's not what I like. So that's it's pretty easy to play stuff like in key on this. So let's just let's just record.
the main trick to playing well with this kind of stuff is you know never hit two together left and right because that creates a major second which by itself sounds pretty bad this is what it sounds like but if you put them uh, farther away like this is a fifth and here's a triad uh, I can you know just just Study some music theory. It's really cool. So uh, let's just let's just record a little bit. So yeah, that's what we got. Let's uh, open this up. And quantize these a bit. All right. Anyway, uh, I've got some audio issues because I'm doing recording and all kinds of different stuff simultaneously. But anyway, thanks for watching the video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it helps you out. Uh, as always, like and subscribe, and uh, Merry Christmas, guys. And uh, for any of you who got an Alasis VI 25 or 49 or whatever, or V25, I don't know. If any of you guys got one of these for Christmas, uh, I hope this helps you out. I just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, and uh, yeah, enjoy.